In this episode, we will be discussing the social stock exchange and the concepts related to it. Let us begin with a brief introduction. The Social Stock Exchange is a platform for listing social enterprise, voluntary and welfare organizations so that they can raise capital. Social enterprises can be defined as a non-loss, non-dividend paying company created and designed to address a social problem. The exchange works under the Market Regulator, Securities and Exchange Board of India. It may be listed on the Bombay Stock Exchange or the National Stock Exchange. The SSE or the Social Stock Exchange exists already in countries such as Singapore, UK, Canada, among others. Looking at its origin and development, the exchange was mooted in the Union Budget of 2019-20 with the objective to help social and voluntary organizations which work for social causes to raise capital as equity or debt or a unit of mutual fund. It provides new and cheaper sources of financing for social welfare projects while showcasing India's independence from foreign aid. It also allows firms operating in sectors such as health, environment and transportation to raise risk capital. It is helpful in rebuilding the livelihoods of people who are affected during the pandemics like COVID-19 and how by unlocking and encouraging large pools of social capital and blended finance structures so that conventional capital can partner with social capital to address the challenges. Let us discuss the working of the exchange. The SSC is a separate segment under the existing stock exchanges. It is a set of processes as much as a place. This means that the SSC will not only be a place where securities or funding structures are listed but also a set of procedures that act as a filter, selecting only those entities that are creating measurable positive social impact and reporting such impact. The duration of listing of an entity would depend on its objectives and future plans. Looking at the funding of the exchange, it is proposed to raise funds through several instruments such as zero coupon, zero principal bonds, social venture funds and mutual funds. In the context of India, the need of the exchange is important as most Indian social enterprises are small in size with nascent but growing operations and find access to finance the most significant impediment to growth. Social enterprises have the potential to make a significant impact on India, society and economy. Therefore, an SSE can help bridge the funding gap and create an investment ecosystem for such enterprises. At present, India has a number of avenues through which the social sector receives funding. These are corporate social responsibility, impact investing, socially responsible investing, philanthropic and government grants amongst others. The SSE simply aims to achieve an integration of all these diverse avenues into a common national platform and establish a uniform framework in reporting and measuring financial and social returns. Next, we look at how a SSE helps an investor. To begin with, investment by companies will be considered as part of their corporate social responsibility initiatives, thereby enabling companies to fund by directly connecting with social organizations. 
the funding instruments such as zero coupon, zero principal bonds, social venture funds and mutual funds provide a variety of options to donor investors to invest with an objective to create a social impact. For instance, the Cancer Fund by HDFC Mutual Fund is an example of such an exchange. It operates as a standard mutual fund with the exception that the returns generated are channeled towards the financing of the non-profit organization. Meaning, its investors get their money back from HDFC Mutual Fund, but any interest or gains that are made are donated to the NPO. Investors also get Section 80G benefits which allow all investments in securities or instruments of NPOs listed on SSE to be tax deductible and corporates to deduct CSR expenditure from their taxable income, among others. Let us conclude this episode with the way forward. India is home to more than 2 million social enterprises, non-profits, for-profits, etc. Hence, the recommendations regarding listing of the non-profit organizations on social stock exchange need careful and thorough planning. Most importantly, on how we can implement proper governance and accountability. This can be achieved by having an extensive and cautious approach in terms of its accreditation, valuation and monitoring. Also, setting up of information repositories on which NPOs should be registered. This will provide credible standardized information about the NPOs. Information repositories are also expected to create appropriate financial reporting standards so that NPOs can then adhere to them. Similarly, social auditors need to perform an independent verification of impact reporting. That's all for today. We will meet you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay updated. Towards the end, let's focus on some prelims based practice questions. Watch our videos in Hindi? Subscribe to our Hindi YouTube channel, Drishti IAS.